Please welcome judges Kevin J. Anderson and Val Lakey Lindan. Um, just in case there's room, I wouldn't mind going on that World Air Race thing, too. <laughs> Our anthology's first story is called The Garden of Chen Zi. Its author is a quarterly first place winner, Emery Huang of Orlando, Florida. I tried to pronounce it right. Emery says he wants to write stories that meld China's vast cultural traditions with American fantasy. His tale finds hope in the face of a bleak future hidden deep in China's wilderness. Please welcome Emery Huang. Hi everyone, it's an honor to be here. Um, first, I'd like to start by thanking L. Ron Hubbard, both for the contest and for his tremendous influence in the genre. I'd like to thank the writers of the Future Contest and everyone involved in it. This has been an amazing week and you all made it possible. I'd also like to thank my girlfriend, Ashley Catt, for being my wise reader and giving me the support I needed throughout my development as a writer. And lastly, I'd like to thank my parents for letting me buy the many books I've acquired over the years with their credit card. <laughs> thank you. Good evening. What a spectacular night. The garden of TNZ's illustrator is Douglas Bosley of Washington State. His interests range from oil painting to printmaking and from philosophy to cybernetics, many of which come to play in his dark portrayal of the story. Please welcome Douglas Bosley. <laughs> I would just like to thank the uh, people who, who taught me, my educators, my peers, and the hardworking faculty and staff at the Western Washington University, the University of Wisconsin at Madison. I also need to thank the uh, Edmonds Art Festival Foundation and the Albert K. Murray Foundation for financing my education and helping me along the way. But finally, I'd also like to thank Mr. Hubbard for uh, enabling the possibility and the opportunity to be here. Thank you. Please welcome. 